finally I had some interruptions going on with my phone out here in the wilderness is what we want to call it <laughs> I'm in friendship court um, like my park the nature trail and the area where I live is very close in my uh, my neighborhood or where I live so I'm finally on I had some interruptions happening had to get that fixed while I was out here and so now I'm live like almost 20 minutes late so sorry guys but good morning good morning good morning I uh, hope you guys are out walking or getting some exercise done if you were able to already earlier than me uh, if you guys are at work please make sure that you are staying stress-free <laughs> take some time to listen out if you're able to if you're on here you probably are listening <laughs> good morning good morning um, I'm going to be speaking to two different groups those that I am coaching and those that I'm not coaching it's hump day yes um, I do need to give you guys a little bit of updates of my life I am quite private but not that private I don't know if that made sense but it's hump day I have uh, programs that are completed, the weight training programs for my clients. Those are done. I just got to contact everybody, see where they are so far, and then start implementing that for them this Saturday and Sunday. Next week is going to be a very busy week for me because I'll be teaching um, sewing classes to high schoolers. <laughs> so I'm going to try to record that as much as I can, and that will actually be on my beauty channel. It won't be on my fitness channel. So next week's going to be quite busy, but I'm still going to be keeping up with my clients at that time. Um, hi, how are hi, you? Hi, how are you? <laughs> so, um, cool thing now when going through this trail, I'm starting to see a whole lot of people in my neighborhood walking. So I don't know if it's because they see me walking out of my house <laughs> and they're like, well, she's doing it. I guess I should do it too. So, and they're walking their dogs and everything and that's so cool. So, yes, programs are getting ready for... Um, are done actually for my clients so you guys will see those Saturday and Sunday so expect a call from me or a text one of the two so you know some of you are just as busy as I am uh, to my non clients I am finishing up programs based off body type that will include a meal plan and it will include a training program this will be free to my clients, so they will be able to access this for all three body types. But for those of you who are not my clients, I have a program for you that can help you based on your body type. So I will be announcing that sometime next week. Uh, please forgive me for Monday not being a video done. It's supposed to be about how to get comfortable with being in the gym, which I'll discuss that in this video. I might as well do that, but uh, please forgive me for that. Um, last weekend or this past weekend um, some updates to what's going on with my relationship um, he's no longer in the home um, hopefully he's getting some help that's all that matters so he's no longer in the home so I'm home alone so <laughs> it's just what I have to deal with right now so that's what's happened in the past weekend and that's why I haven't been able to get a video up to you guys Monday because I've been dealing with that so hopefully he's getting the help that he needs uh, his family is still keeping in contact with me let me know what's going on but other than that on the real guys it ain't looking so good hey it's life <laughs> so let's talk about how to get comfortable in the gym first if you are not comfortable working out at home <laughs> it's going to be a little bit difficult to be comfortable working in the gym and know, knowing that other people are watching you or judging you based off themselves or whatever um, especially if you plan on going to a gym that's predominantly a lot of people who are already been doing this for years and you're just getting started I understand that that can be quite uncomfortable and that's why even though I don't care for Planet Fitness I love Planet Fitness for being one of those gyms that make it the no judgment free zone even though I still feel like it's judgmental in a sense because what if you do become this fit person like I did and then now when you go to this gym now you feel like you're being judged <laughs> 
I'm like, well, what she's doing here? She doesn't need to be here. <laughs> so Planet Fitness, I'm going to be honest with you guys. If it's in your area, it's actually the best place to go to learn to get comfortable with the gym, to learn to get comfortable with the machines there, everything, because they do have trainers there and that's free to you. Oh, thank you. Please continue to pray for me. Um, when, when we're, those of you know we're living in the last day, so any and everything can happen right now. So just keep your faith and keep it moving and make the right decisions. But Planet Fitness has um, coaches there, or not coaches, trainers there. And they can go through the whole gym with you on certain um, exercise equipment that you're you're interested in and this is based off a plan that you may be following from me or from anybody else they do create plans for you so that's a good thing um, it's free to you if you are I think a black card member and I'm just you know putting that out there because there's a lot of platinum fitnesses all over the more all over the world good morning <laughs> so how that's one way you can get comfortable with the gym is at least do a membership at Planet Fitness. It's $10 for just you. It's $20 for the black card member, which allows you to bring a friend with you. That's a good way to get comfortable too, because you can both walk around and look crazy together trying to figure things out, <laughs> but at least you're not alone. <laughs> so yeah, Planet Fitness is honestly, in my opinion, a really good gym for that purpose of people who are trying to get fit, trying to get started. They want to go to a gym, but they're just not sure what machines to use, how to use the machines, what flow or what area they need to go into. So that's my advice to you. Now, if you do not have a Planet Fitness in your area, wherever you live, um, which I almost doubt that, but that's not true either. <laughs> and you go to a gym, whether it's a powerlifting gym or what is it, Anytime Fitness, there's Lifestyle Fitness. Sorry guys. Sorry guys, interruptions. <laughs> but there's so many um, different gyms that you you know you might like in your area. When you walk in, have the person that is the manager or that's at the front desk or whatever go through the gym with you. Ask questions. Don't feel that you're asking stupid questions. <laughs> They're not stupid questions. They're questions that you need to know, you wanna know, you're not sure. So allow them to help you by asking them. Machines, what's the best? They may even uh, give you, um, it may give you even options of a personal trainer that they may have there if you choose to have one. So when you go to these gyms, have them walk you around so you'll know where all of the equipment is. Another good thing is using bodybuilding.com. They do have programs on there. You can follow them. They show you what the machine looks like, show you how you can use it. You write your plan out or take a plan from whoever you feel comfortable from and then follow that plan. You should know what everything is in the gym by that time once you walk in and create a membership. So, um, I don't know how to tell you how to be comfortable when you're doing free weights or things like that because I grew up with boys. So <laughs> I'm an only girl. <laughs> so my father and my brothers, we were all pretty much, they were gym rats. I wasn't, I was Miss Prissy anyway with my mommy. But <laughs> you know, being raised around brothers and my father, I'm not uncomfortable around men. Um, I'm not half dressed either, so don't do that. <laughs> or, or you're gonna be looking for some some kind of uh, response you're not gonna want. You're there to work out, so keep it focused. But um, usually guys are very helpful when you are, especially if you're a pretty girl, so, which we are pretty girls, aren't we? <laughs> so especially if you're a pretty girl, they'll help you. Um, you'll find friends in the gym. It's just being open. Um, there'll be other women in there that are totally willing to help you. Hi! Stand firm, sis. Yes, I am. I'm standing firm. I'm going to keep it. But um, if you guys have any questions concerning 
like getting comfortable in the gym, it's easier for me to answer those questions. I can definitely tell you exactly what you could do. And if I'm not sure, I'm gonna lead you to a video on it. <laughs> I have my Apple Watch. I love this thing. How's everyone's morning so far? How many of you are at work? I'm trying to figure out how I can get some of you to comment because I'm thinking you guys are having a hard time commenting. <laughs> there you go. That's right, Camille's at work. <laughs> Hey everyone, hey Nicole, I see you. <laughs> um, what music do I work out to? Um, I have to be honest with you, I'm a Drake person. I love Drake's music. <laughs> when I'm walking, I'm always on the JW app. I listen to the, the broadcast. That's what I listen to. Um, if you are not familiar with me, or knowing that I'm one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, I, I'm on the JW app, so I'll put the link down below or you could just go to JW.org because it has a wealth of information there. So yeah, that's what, whoa, from the UK, hey. <laughs> so that's, I listen to a lot of information on there um, when I'm walking. Uh, when I'm in the gym, it's usually rap, <laughs> Drake. Uh, just any like current music. I'm not a radio person. I don't like listening to the radio because they play the same crap over and over and over again. But um, I get to choose what music I want to listen to and I use Google Play. So it's usually something where a dubstep or it's just hip hop R&B. Good morning. <laughs> Ipswich. I'm pronouncing that so wrong from the UK. <laughs> This year. Okay, when you're using the Okay, um, best machine to use to work out legs in my opinion whether you have bad knees or not is the uh, Leg press where you sit back feet up press up with or without weights depending on your knees Do not over straighten your knees or lock your knees because that is bad so you're pushing, but you're not pushing to the point where you're completely locking your knees. Now, that machine is used the most because a lot of people know that. <laughs> it's also a machine that's in Planet Fitness and in most gyms is the leg press, pressing up. What happens if you are working with someone or someone you don't know and you're there, they're on the machine and you need that machine? There's more than one leg press in the... <laughs> There's more than one leg press in the gym. There's the one that goes up, and then there's the one that goes straight forward. So you're sitting straight up and you're pushing forward. The other one is when you're laying back and pushing up. I see you, good morning. So the rules is when they're done, let them finish. Go on to another move or to another, you know, exercise in your program, and then um, just, wait until they're done and come back to it. So that's the best way, that's how I do it. I don't like to interrupt them because I don't like to be interrupted. So I wouldn't do that to them. Let them finish their set, I'll just go on to the next one. Um, best cardio machines to use to work your legs, hands down, to build, Stairmaster. To slim down, high incline on a treadmill. Only two. You guys know I'm simple. <laughs> I'm about simplicity. Don't overthink it. If you want to slim your legs down, high incline on a treadmill. Hmm. And if you need to build your legs, Stairmaster. Okay, let's see if I got that. They come up so fast. You guys are asking these are really good questions. Someone's doing a triathlon. Is that what I just saw? Oh, how does my skin look so laughing at me? 
<laughs> Someone's doing a triathlon. Do you think weight training is what you need? Um, you might have to ask that again. I can repeat the rules of the gym again. Let people finish their sets and then just move on to the next one and come back to it. It's not necessarily uh, imperative that you stick with the order of your, your uh, workout program, especially if you're in a gym because that happens. Sometimes you need to learn that there's alternatives to the same exercise. You can do a leg press um, type like with for your quads. You can go to squats if you know you're not able to get to a leg press machine. The whole point of the leg press machine is to work out the entire leg based on your foot placement. Um, I did finish recording the video for it, but I just wasn't able to get it up on Monday. Okay, so you're asking what kind of training should you do for if you're running a triathlon? Um, that's an endur I believe that's an endurance. Uh, that's an endurance sport. So your treadmill or just a lot of walking, a lot of running, practicing that to build your endurance. Um, if you need a little bit more, which way do I want to go? That way. If you need a little bit more, um, try sprints on treadmill or just outdoors or wherever you do your running. Um, do 20 seconds on, 20 seconds off. With hair issues, hmm. That's actually from my beauty channel. <laughs> like, what do you mean by hair issues? Like, I can tell you what hair issue I'm having. This, <laughs> under my chin. That's annoying. For me with the gym. To, 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 to running, to develop your stamina when it comes to a triathlon or you don't work out running endurance running um another thing that will really help you with endurance because it tires you out a little bit faster is the stairmaster builds your legs builds the strength in your legs for you to run and keep that endurance um at home jump squats body weight squats curtsy squats <laughs> anything that builds the legs that'll help you with a triathlon that you can do at home or at the park so any lower body high intensity interval training workouts i hope that made sense <laughs> yeah i could tell you jump squats is going to really do it if you if you don't care for the gym you want to do things at home jump squats Oh, there's a lot of people on here. <laughs> I'm not gonna be here too long because I'm already 41 minutes in into my walk because I started like five minutes before 10 and then couldn't even get on the thing until 20 minutes after because I had some service interruption. And then I got a text from T-Mobile and then that's when I realized they were trying to help me fix it. So I had to wait for that issue to be taken care of who likes my hair you guys see the color I still haven't gotten this video out you can see the brown it's gonna lighten up a little bit more and I'm gonna lighten it up in September so and then that'll be it and I'll just let this grow yeah and cut this down a little bit maybe maybe not so I like this. This is the closest I can get. Okay, so that's a good one. Um, I have a friend that works in corporate America too. So this question is to one of my clients. Um, she works in corporate America too and she has very high flight of stairs and um, she doesn't use the elevator so like in her lunch break if she doesn't get a chance to walk she'll use the stairs and she'll do 20 minutes of going up and down she'll put her headphones on play her music and she says she's go up and down 
for 20 minutes. <laughs> That's like being on a Stairmaster. But according to her, she says it's a lot more fun because she's playing her music. She's not in a stationary position. She's actually going up and have to turn around and go back down and then have to turn around and get back up. So she's doing more moving than staying in place like you do on a Stairmaster. So she can't use any of the handrails. So it's like she either sprints up or walks up like you normally would if you're walking up the stairs. So. If you work in corporate America and you're annoyed at the fact that you live in, you work at a sedentary job where you're sitting most of the time, spend some, if you have a lunch break or take a quick lunch break, it can be 10 minutes. It doesn't have to be 20, 30 minutes, a full hour. Just give yourself 10 minutes of that. Um, one of my clients helped me remember about Headspace too, the app Headspace. <laughs> So one of my clients brought that back to my memory. So thank you, Shay, <laughs> for that. But that, that's a good way to get some exercise in. Oh, that's a good way. We can start talking about some exercise. Uh, one of my uh, clients did yard work. <laughs> and just the way she sounded when she, had to, when she was done, just lets me know, well, maybe she shouldn't do any. <laughs> <laughs> any extra working out because yard work is a lot of work because she has a very large yard so yard work I guess it can be considered a workout especially if you're trying to complete it all at one time <laughs> any other questions guys I don't want to stop too soon <laughs> Thank you. That headspace is awesome. All I need is three to 10 minutes. Um, yes, you can do both. Do you have to run with the treadmill or walk? You could do both. Um, just because a large percentage of us are not getting any younger. I mean, I see people younger than me and they're just like, running like crazy and I'm not gonna do that <laughs> on a treadmill on an incline not for longer than two seconds <laughs> I'm not gonna do that I need balance and I don't want to overwork myself I, I have learned that over the past four years that high, in high intensity interval training is good for me but it shouldn't be too much because then you know it just requires it just puts stress on my body and then that's where the adrenal glands come in so um, to slim your legs down. I'll give you a tip or an advice on what, what I've seen that's worked and what's worked for me. The highest incline you can get is about 10 to 15. Climb your way up to that. Start at like five, then go six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. 20 minutes, that's all you need. At a speed of three to 3.5. So high incline, the highest that you can go, even if it happens to be eight, stay there for 20 minutes at three to 3.5. Um, when you're trying to lose weight, it's about diet, it's not about training. So how much exercise should you do to lose weight? How much training should you do? How much cardio or how much weight training you should do to lose weight? That is to help you change the way your body looks. You lose weight through a caloric deficit or your diet. There are people who have lost weight just off diet and walking alone. That's all you need. Weight training is to change the way your body looks, your body composition. And I'm saying it in a simple form. It's way more complicated than that and the way the industry describes it. But when we're talking about losing weight for health reasons, it's your diet and just enough cardio to keep you sane. <laughs> so how long do I work out? Sometimes between an hour, hour and a half, and that includes cardio. So it might be an hour I'm weight training and 30 minutes of cardio after my weight training. Uh, some people do cardio in the morning like fasted cardio in the morning for about 30 minutes to an hour and then they go and weight train for another hour 
these people live in the gyms so it's not about how much it's about your diet and intensity if you are weight training you can lose weight without exercise you can lose weight without intense cardio what should you how do you know when you find out that you have a, an adrenal body type um, most everybody has adrenal glands <laughs> Everybody has adrenal glands. However, common, and I'm going to tell you guys after this to go to uh, Dr. Berg, Eric Berg. He just did a video on um, the adrenal glands, what they are and the basics of it. Because <laughs> he's awesome. <laughs> so he just did a video on it. Check that out. But most cases, in the fitness industry he's speaking on the health side of it but in the in the hormone side of it but in the fitness industry most cases the adrenal body type is um is a mesomorph i'm a mesomorph so stress stress cortisol everybody's adrenal glands pushes out cortisol some of us push out way too much more and stay in that state and then it just makes it hard for us to gain to lose weight we're just steady gaining it so it's your stress hormone and it helps you to deal with stress. That's what cortisol, that's that hormone, that's what adrenal glands do for your body. How to know if you are adrenal body type? More than likely you're a mesomorph. However, any and everybody, doesn't matter what your body type is, according to the fitness industry, you can be adrenal fatigue. You can have fatigue. Um, examples, you're tired just can't handle stress you're irritable what are some other things yeah well, adrenal fatigue it's like you're just you just don't handle stress very well you're tired a lot uh, appetite problems um, it's so many different things we're gonna go there how do I get there going over there so I would definitely tell you to look at that video Yes, intolerance of incompetent people. Love my husband, but that's what I was having. <laughs> Plantar fat. Okay, speak that in normal terms. I don't know that that's a scientific word that I've seen before, but you just caught me off guard. This is why as a college teacher, I don't give tests. <laughs> Cause you can know the information. <laughs> you can know the information, but that test just puts you right on the spot and you forget everything. And I, that word sounds familiar. I've seen it before, but speak it in layman terms to me so I can give you a good answer. <laughs> what to do when someone has what? Oh, I'm finally in my resting spot. Yep, 51. Um, yep, around this time I'm at two and a half miles. I try to walk at least two and a half to, th to three miles a day. Okay, help me understand what that question is that you're talking about. And anybody else has a comment and know about for adrenal fatigue? I believe Shay is on here. <laughs> Spurs in your feet or... I don't know, I have like really bad calluses on my hands <laughs> from weightlifting and uh, pole fitness. So I should wear gloves, but I don't like to wear gloves because I need to feel what I'm doing. <laughs> Is it spurs? Are you mentioning spurs in your feet or... Um, I do need to, I don't need to, but I want to make this clear for um, those of you who are um, dealing with any knee issues or knee problems, I'm taking into account with that if you're my client, but um, I know people who don't have knees that can still get a, get the job done, so I'm, I'm taking that into account, but you got to strengthen those joints. If you're not taking something that's helping your joints, like fish oil or creole oil, 
Um, if you vegan or vegetarian, I understand that you're not going to take those things. Um, but for your joints per se, if you don't take those things, I would highly, highly suggest, and I'm speaking to my non-clients too, this is something you might want to think about if you have any joint issues, stay away from dairy and um, milk and, and cheese. Um, we already know, some of us and most of us already know within the, um, I don't want to just say African American community, but it's the most known that um, osteoporosis happens because we drink milk. So if you're drinking milk, stop it. Switch over to almond or coconut milk um, just for the, the uh, protection and the health of your bones. Um, cheeses and things like that, other dairies. Um, yogurt is not bad, but you do have to be careful. Try to avoid the whole non-fat dairy, that type of yogurt. Greek yogurt is pretty much the best. But um, there's other like cheeses and stuff like that can aggravate um, joint problems and rheumatoid arthritis. So if you're having any of those issues and you're not a vegan, uh, go for fish oil or creole oil. If you are a vegan or a vegetarian, just make sure you eliminate those things out of your diet. Because I know with vegans and vegetarians, they don't deal with any animal products. So, you know, and fish oil and creole oil, they're, they're, at, they're part of, you know, they're animal products. Let's be real. So there's ways to get around that if you are um, vegan or vegetarian. Just, you just need to stop those things altogether. But if you are um, not vegan or vegetarian, um, add those in or just eat more uh, salmon some other fishes that you can eat that has you know good salmon is really known to have the most amount of fat and, um, and the right amount the good oils for your body so that's something to think about because uh, I had a client here in my um, my hometown <laughs> that is having way better um, results with just cutting those things out and she's um, she's vegan so um, turmeric helps too that helps with the brain um, and then, I, if we have any more, yes, nighttime adrenal supplement. I use the Nitrogix adrenal support because it works the same way and because they uh, sponsor me, so that's why I use it. But um, I would definitely suggest um, Dr. Eric Bird's um, adrenal uh, nighttime supplement. That really works. Um... If you do not have a, I, my clients are talking to me at the same time, so I'm trying to make sure. I'm gonna stop my uh, watch here. So I'm gonna end it here and finish up my talk with you guys. Okay, where was I at? But yeah, um, I use adrenal support from Nitrogix. That's my supplement sponsor. Um, it helps with mood. <laughs> it helps with fatigue it gives you energy it also um, helps with appetite um, not necessarily as a suppressant but just to help you have a healthy appetite you know when you're not hungry or that's not a good thing because you do need to fuel your body um, right now in the YouTube community in the fitness YouTube community right now the biggest diet that seems to be going around that everybody is doing is fasted um, intermittent fasting and ketogenic the low carb high fat diet that does not work for everybody guys it's popular because there is a large number of people that are in the fitness industry that are doing good with it but they're doing good with it because they're, they're following it for a short period of time for a competition or for a specific thing that they're doing these are all people who have been doing this fitness industry for years ketogenic diet was originally for people with epi epilepsy and some people with diet type 2 diabetes to help with insulin control but that's really what intermittent fasting does intermittent fasting is just a way of eating or a timing of eating ketogenic diet really just means low to no carbs and high on the fat and fat is not bad <laughs> but it does not work for everybody type so please do your research on that 
if you are my client and I didn't put you on a ketogenic diet, it means it's not gonna work for you. <laughs> and I know it won't. Working out through soreness. Um, don't work out through soreness. Let your body repair. If you are sore after a workout, that is a good thing. They don't say no pain, no gain for a reason. That is your muscle fibers have been torn and they need to be repaired. That is done by eating protein and getting rest. So if you are extremely sore, let your body repair itself and it creates the scar tissue over your muscle, which in turn gives you a bigger muscle because that scar tissue is on top of the tears. And I hope I'm explaining that so like a third grader. Just think you're like tearing something or say you've ripped a rubber band ball apart and you're pulling the rubber bands off and in order for it to be fixed, you have to put those rubber bands on and it makes it bigger. You gotta cover the hole or whatever. When you are sore, that is a good thing. That means that you're about to repair that, your body is about to repair that muscle so it'll look bigger. And it gives you shape. There is no way you're gonna look like a man. It's genetically impossible unless you're taking steroids. So stop ladies thinking that when you go to the gym, you're gonna look like a man. Cause I go to the gym and I know doggone well I don't look like a man. I got muscles and I still look feminine. So if you are looking at these women on Instagram or anywhere else and they just look masculine to you, trust me, they're probably taking something. Some, some kind of testosterone boosters or some kind of steroids that is allowing for their muscles to get that big that quickly and making them look extremely masculine. Men and women have the same muscles as anybody else we have the same body parts except for you guys know what I mean but <laughs> hi Marcita hi but yeah um we have the same body parts except for you guys know but if you're sore stop and rest work on a totally different body part so if your legs are sore don't work them out the next day let them rest let them recuperate Work your upper body instead. If you hate working upper body, um, then just rest. <laughs> uh, easiest way to rest if you still need to keep getting act activity, if you're mostly you enjoy working your lower half, your legs, just walk. Just walk. But don't do any gym workouts or anything, machines and jump squats and all that crazy stuff when you're extremely sore. You need to let that, let, let that muscle build. So it, and the only way it'll do that is through protein and rest. And when I mean rest, don't work it out and also go to sleep and get eight hours. <laughs> get eight hours, because that's when it's repairing itself. When you sleep, your body is repairing itself and it's creating new cells to keep the body running healthy. Sleep is important. So diet, sleep, and cardio. <laughs> and moderate amount of cardio. Don't stress yourself out by trying to over. You can't outwork a bad diet. That's so true. You can't outwork it. If your diet is not good, all that working out and all that cardio is not gonna help you. Oh, that's right. Um, There are shoes. That's right. I think Nike has them for when you have a, uh, your arch, when it drops. There are shoes for that, for people. I know there's a couple of people in my gym that has those shoes that have that with their arch, a fallen arch, or it's just pain when they walk. But it, it has arch support. You need to get shoes for that. Diet and sleep is the, hi, Kia. Everybody calls me Kia too, hey. <laughs> Yeah, diet and sleep it. But yeah, get there. Um, you need arch support shoes for that. They have them specifically for the gym. And I'm pretty sure that is killing you because <laughs> that kills me too. I saw your workout on the, tr on the uh, treadmill. Brooks shoes. Thank you, Nicole. Brooks. They have them too. But you need arch support. And they work just as well in the gym. So I hope, that, I hope that answers your question. Because you can work out and do whatever you want to, you just need the right support and you need some arch, arch support shoes. Please let me know if that helped. And then if I get, once I get to the gym, I get a chance, if I see him and his wife 
um because she wears them <laughs> hey <laughs> Um, a Aces, A-S-I-C-S -S is another one. Someone just mentioned that. They're good too. So thank you guys for helping and commenting. I love when people do that because that means <laughs> we all know something nobody else knows. But I know you need arch support shoes. So if you, if you guys know brands, that's good that you're mentioning them out. So that'll give me some time to actually uh, try to find links for them. But the easiest way is go to Google and type of arch support shoes. Amazon sells the socks as well. That's right, they do. Please let me know. Amazon is killing the whole like brick and mortar store industry. Like we won't have malls and you know, everything will be sold online. So sorry guys, if you're not, a, you're not tech savvy, it's like the world is forcing you to be. <laughs> It's forcing you to be, but Amazon is doing it. Walmart is doing it even online. So, Let's see any other questions? I, there was another question I wanted to respond to, but I think I missed it. So if I didn't answer it and you want to ask it again, let me know. Because I only got, whoa, it's 35 minutes. Yeah, because I had to get back pretty soon. <laughs> It's 11.04. I have my first meal at 12. So I get up, um, not late, but somewhere around 7 or 8 o'clock. I get up, answer emails. Sacconi. Is that how you pronounce it? I think that's it, Sacconi. God, I haven't heard of that brand in so long. Of shoes that, you know, for um, arch support. So that means you got you got the support that you need. It's just you can do any exercise. You just need the right shoes for it. Okay, let's make sure I'm going the right way. Yes, I am. It's amazing here sometimes. Where is that seat? There it is. Hi, Hi. ladies. For the F okay, cool. Yes, so once I'm done here, um, you guys need to go to Eric Berg's video. He just posted it today. He's talking about the adrenal glands. Now let's not even think about whether you are the adrenal body type. Let's just learn, uh, learn about the adrenals in that, in that sense. He's speaking on it a little bit simpler and on a scientific basis better than I could tell you. I'm going to tell it to you it's as simple as it is. It's cortisol and it's a gland that shoots out cortisol and it helps you to deal with stress. And if you can't deal with stress, that's your, you have adrenal fatigue. Steady state every day. I do steady state every day. See where I'm at? <laughs> I do steady state cardio every day, first thing in the morning, fasted. My views on it, it works for any and everybody. You don't have to do it fasted. You can have a little bit of something to eat before you go out on your walk. Um, so I do like steady state cardio. Now I do. I used to didn't like it because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm addicted to hard work. Should we be counting macros? Um, I'll put it to you this way. All of this stuff just really just came up. Is it important to count macros? Yeah, when you're trying to reach a goal and you're trying to go for a competition. I'm just gonna say it like that, plain as day. People don't count macros. People who eat good food don't count macros. They just eat until they're full and then they go about their business. Yeah, You don't always have to count calories or count macros. How, do you, how, how does a vegan count macros? You know, protein is not in their diet. They don't eat meat, so what do they do? They just eat what they know they're supposed to eat, making sure it's not processed food and go on about it. So, no, should you recount macros? No, no, you don't have to to lose weight. You don't have to to be healthy. It's just, but keep in mind, my personal, personal opinion. 
I only deal with macros with certain people that really want to know their own macro um, nutrient breakdown <laughs> and people that you know I deal with that are training themselves in a sense for a competition or for anything like that and that's the only thing they want to know is you know what's their macro you know there is a percentage for to gain weight a percentage to maintain and a percentage to lose weight I've actually mentioned that in other videos before I've done macronutrient counting but I'm all about health first so no you don't have to pay attention to it but the easiest way is just make sure your your carbs are a little bit lower than your protein if you are not vegan or vegetarian but if you're vegan or vegetarian they don't count macros they just eat they eat vegetables and good fats and sometimes they may eat like what I call processed protein which I wouldn't if I was vegan or vegetarian I wouldn't eat anything processed period it would just be fruits vegetables and good fats that's it but I, I love uh, uh, tofu but it's a processed thing so soy I wouldn't even want to bother with it for me for me I wouldn't if I was vegan so and I have done it for, I have tried it for a period of time. I've tried pescatarian, I've tried vegetarian, and I do, I like them all. I am a love them all type diet person. But what works for me and what has gotten me the results I've wanted best was paleo or just clean eating. So I live in Detroit, Michigan. There's <laughs> not many vegans here. <laughs> That's bad to say. There are some trickled around, but it's not many. So, what is name? What's his name? Oh, Eric Berg. Dr. Eric Berg. He's who I'm studying under for a dietitian. Did you guys know that? I probably mentioned it before. So, him and then I, you know, not recently, but I, that's how I found Gage Girl Training first, and then I found um, Dr. Eric Bird. So he he speaks on the hormonal balances and the health side of it, and body types different, you know, so body types based on adrenal, and it was two other ones, and then he met, then Gage Girl Training talks on the fitness of health side. And she talks on the mesomorph, ectomorph, and endomorph. So I combine those two together. And that's what I've been um, using to finish my, my license up. Because I'm, I'm more into dietitian than anything. I love weight training. I've been a personal trainer anyway for a long time. How do you monitor the amount of calories you burn? Um, I'm gonna be honest, I use, um, I was using a Q band and I was using, I'm using now my Apple Watch. Um, monitoring that, I don't. I mean, I use it, but I don't, I don't make it, I don't get obsessed with numbers. Mind you, I'm, obs I'm a person who's obsessed with hard work. That's my problem, that's, that's my, what I wanna say, my flaw in a sense, I'm, I'm obsessed with, working hard when I don't have to <laughs> I prefer to walk work smarter and that's what I'm getting better at but um, it's what I use to monitor it it's not always the most accurate I think in my opinion so that's why I try not to follow it to a T to monitor it but Q bands fit bands um, you can get a heart rate monitor if you want to but don't worry about it <laughs> it's in me here. It sure is in me. I think Nicole asked me a question and I missed it. Because I'm on my phone, so it makes it a little bit harder to go back to those. I'd be wanting to go back to them. It's not like Instagram where I can scroll back down and find them. But um, if I didn't have these things, I wouldn't even care or monitor it. Um, if I wanted to, I, without a heart monitor, you can go to the gym, get on a cardio machine, and follow that. 
it has the heart rate monitors most of the times those are pretty accurate um, but if I don't have those tools I wouldn't even worry about it yeah don't even worry about it All right, guys, so if you are my client and you have more questions to ask me, definitely text them to me. Um, you have my number. <laughs> if you guys are interested in um, online coaching with me, there's a lot to offer that I'm offering. Um, you could definitely check my website out on that. If for any reason you're having an issue with it, because I had to fix some things with the website, this is giving blank screens when I was on it, so it should be fixed because I'm a web design teacher, so <laughs> I know how to fix my own website. <laughs> but um, yeah, if you have any issues in that case, just um, email me and I'll take care of the rest for you if you're interested. Other than that, guys, I'm going to have to bid this live adieu. I'm going to try to get that video out to you guys Monday, like I said. I'm gonna try but um trying to make sure my clients are good and i will be live again on wednesday as usual um this part i'm not giving up <laughs> this one is a little bit easier for me because i walk every day anyway so and i love having you guys walk with me so other than that check out my website beautycutright.com for online coaching and make sure you check out Eric Berg's video right now about adrenal glands, what they are, what they do, the basics of it. It's an awesome video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. I got a lot of work to do. Bye, Phyllis. <laughs> I'm keeping the faith. You guys are motivating me. So I will see you guys. Bye-bye. Love you all.